We're learning new details on the case of Madeline Soto. According to documents obtained by WESH2, Soto's mother's boyfriend, Stefan Stearns, was abusing her for nearly two years. WESH2's Haley Grumbleholm breaks down what they found and how a therapist says you can spot signs of abuse. Haley. So while law enforcement had initially found evidence that Stearns had been abusing Madeline when she was 12, this latest arrest affidavit that we obtained breaks down how they were able to determine that the abuse went back even further. An arrest affidavit for Stefan Stern says he allowed law enforcement to search his phone, but said he had accidentally done a factory reset on it the day Madeline disappeared. Despite the reset, investigators say they were able to get videos and images off of the phone. And metadata showed some of what they found was from August of 2022, when Madeline would have been 11. Is Mr. Stearns aware of what he's been arrested for? Stearns is now in the Osceola County Jail being held on charges of sexual battery and possession of child sexual abuse material. A therapist says it's important to talk to your kids about abuse, even if you think you don't need to. Some family members or some parents feel they're doing everything that they can to protect their children so it doesn't come to mind to even ask those questions. Charlotte McCullough, a licensed marriage and family therapist, says there can be certain indicators that something can be happening with your child. Specifically for sexual abuse, things like mistrust, things like not wanting to be alone with a certain person, you know, things like knowing about sexual things that's inappropriate for their age. She says indicators of emotional abuse can be depression, low self-esteem, and a lack of personal hygiene. When your child shuts down or becomes withdrawn, that is the time to lean in, not from an aggressive perspective, but from a caring perspective and just talking to them, normalizing, talking to your teens about everything, including abuse. Stearns is being held here at the Osceola County Jail on no bond for the charges he is facing. He has not been charged in connection with Madeline's death. If you know or suspect someone is being abused, we've posted information on the Florida Abuse Hotline on West.com. Live in Osceola County, Haley Crumble home, West 2 News.